Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. I told you we were doing a golf course review this week at Raptor Bay Golf Club in Bonita Springs, Florida. Change of plans, kind of an impromptu round, I don't have any of my equipment with me. We are playing Spring Run Country Club, also in Bonita Springs, it's in the Brooks, it's one of my favorite courses. We are starting on hole 10, it's a par 5. This course is stunning, all the snowbirds are back so I'm shocked I was able to get out here alone. Thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button. Follow along with me while I take you through Spring Run Golf Club in Bonita Springs, Florida. All right, first of all, okay, we just teed off on hole one. Um, I've been hitting a fade lately. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm in a golf slump. I don't know what's going on. I'm hitting fades everywhere. I never know where the ball's going. Never know how I'm gonna strike it, but. All right, first of all, okay, we just teed off on hole one. Um, I've been hitting a fade lately. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm in a golf slump. I don't know what's going on. I'm hitting fades everywhere. I never know where the ball's going. Never know how I'm gonna strike it. For those of you that watch that aren't from Florida, it's perfectly sunny. There's literally not a cloud in the sky right now. It is like 72 degrees. Why aren't you moving to Florida? If you do move to Florida, make sure you keep me in mind for all your real estate needs. I don't know why I just stuttered there. Call me 239-839-6974. Let's go find this ball. This is one of my favorite par fives in town because we only have 205 yards in. This hole has birdie written all over it. On to hole two, actually hole 11, drivable, par four, not going for it. We are currently standing at my second shot on the par five, Hole 12, not a bad leave. I've got 98 yards. And the thing about golf is, for those of you that don't golf and for some reason you ended up on a golf real estate, whatever this is, page, is that you can play smart, you can play dumb. Typically, I play really stupid golf, but today I'm gonna take it easy. I'm trying to figure my game out again, so I'm gonna take it easy. I decided, you know, just take a six iron. I was 260 away. I could have taken three wood, possibly ended up in one of those bunkers, like I said before, my bunker game is trash, so that wouldn't have been smart. So I was like, you know what, just take a six iron, leave yourself 100 in, and boom, we're exactly almost 100 yards in. Maybe, maybe a birdie is coming. 100 yard chip, pin high, at least I got my distance down. And we just got a nice little chip and a putt, here we go. All right, so I got a bogey. I'll be honest with you, all right, if you play golf, if you play golf in Florida or you play golf in Florida, you know that our greens are typically not the fastest, at least in my experience, because we have a lot of old people here, right? So here's the thing. These greens have to be rolling at like a 13 today. My chip, I was like, oh, that's perfect. It rolled like 30 feet past the hole and then putted, putted, bogey. Hey, we're out of there with a bogey. I am just right there and the pin is just right there. Everyone just take a second, appreciate the beauty of Southwest Florida. Look at this day, look at it. It's that time of year, folks. The old people are here. They're here for a few months. And you might as well get used to playing some slow ass golf. But I did just get a par on the last hole. I literally missed the birdie by like this much, so. And we're back. All right, that was a par three. It was 182 yards. I landed it short of the flag by about 40 feet. Guys, I did figure out something. I think what happened was I was swinging so well all summer, I started getting lazy with my grip. So I strengthened up the grip a little bit, and now everything seems to be going straighter. When it's when I needed to draw, it's drawing. When I needed to fade, it's fading. Fingers crossed, this keeps working. It's probably a good thing I didn't decide to go for it because it would have been 20 yards over the green. Holy shit. That might be in the hole. 
not too terrible of a shot 170 yard par three that's an eight iron went a little far but it's all right let's see if we can't get this birdie to go in All right, ladies and germs, we made it through fairly unscathed through nine. We are three over, which is the best I've played in a while. I'm actually swinging confidently for the first time since the Myrtle Beach video. Um, hopefully, you know, we can put up another three over on the back nine. I don't want to jinx it. So I'm just here to play some golf and enjoy this beautiful weather. I hope you're enjoying the video. We are about to tee off on hole number one on Spring Run Golf Club. I don't know if the company is called Stick It. No, it looks like the company is called MonumentGolfer.com. This thing is a lifesaver. You don't have to throw your, your range finder down to the cup holders and scuff it up. You just stick that thing right up there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, step one complete. There is my ball. Got a tree that I might have to worry about, but on a par five, we only ended up 166 from the hole. Let's get this paper. We're coming into my favorite stretch of holes on spring run. We've got a par four, which is awesome. And we're going right at that tower way out there, which will leave us about hundred yards in. Hopefully we can get another birdie. I think we have two birdies today or one birdie today. Then we've got a par five. And then after that, we've got a long par four. And uh, we're just cruising right along. We kind of hit a little bit of a backup, but that's golf. It's a beautiful day. I'm just out here to enjoy my time. These old people in front of me are playing so slow. It's unbelievable. They were moving right along for a while. Apparently they're running out of gas because it's taken me like 25 minutes to play the last two holes. And that was a par three and a short ass par four. I think, I swear to God, I just fractured my wrist. And uh, we landed short right there. Not a huge problem, just a chip and a putt. Someone in front of me just went in the water and just went over in that region right there. Well, I accidentally took a divot with the three wood. I still went pretty, pretty far up here. I probably have like a 40, 50 yard chip shot. So can't be too mad about it. Um, the only problem is, is that the flag is right over this bunker that I have to hit over. So we'll see how that goes. What do you say? Hole 17. That's how man hits the ball right there. We only have... 97 in on a hole that is 398 let's go we're finishing strong boys we're finishing strong got that left for birdie on 17. gotta gotta fix your divots people gotta fix your divots better attention. Right there is Fred Couples practicing his spring run golf club. I don't know why, but he's right there. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just bored waiting for these old farts in front of me to finish 18 so I can get to my appointments that I have to go to. I'll show you the last shot. We got the Myrtle Beach Mafia shot. As you guys know, you just watched the video of Myrtle Beach golf trip. We took it out, but I still have the balls left over. So Myrtle Beach Mafia, why don't you go in the hole? All right, everybody, that was Spring Run Golf Club in Bonita Springs, Florida. I guess we're in Estero, technically. 
I don't know, if you ask people to live in Estero, if they live in Bonita, they say no. If you ask people to live in North Bonita, if they live in Estero, they say no. So I don't really know where I am. I'm somewhere near Coconut Point Mall in the Brooks. Spring Run Golf Club, thanks for getting me out there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We'll be out again next week for another golf course review, like maybe two weeks. But by the time you're watching this, I will have done another real estate video probably. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time on my channel.